Hello everybody, my name is Cyrix and I'll be your narrator for today. We will be taking a look at level 611.4 of the backrooms, also known as Hycophobia. Survival difficulty, class of variable. Varying safety, highly unstable, diverse hazards. Description. Level 611.4 is a house that is very expansive, unpredictable, and random all at once. Level 611.4 is drastically different to everyone who enters the level in safely, and how many species of entities that can be found, which can change at any point in time. Level 611.4 has a variety of rooms that can be found within the level, all of which are expansive. These rooms can change at any point in time. Level 611 has the following room types, living rooms, bathrooms, hallways, kitchens, bedrooms, and rarely, outdoor areas and basements. Each of the following will be listed down below. Also, be aware that none of these areas can be deemed as fully safe. Living Rooms Level 611.4's living rooms tend to have a fancy feel to them. Each part of the living room will be connected to a dining room, forever expanding. The dining room table will have bounds of flowers in the middle, with around 7 or 8 chairs seated around the table. Inside the actual living room area itself is a plethora of items you can find during your stay. Each part of the living room is guaranteed to have at least one television somewhere within the area. The television is not silent for the most part. On rare occasions, it can be accompanied by a radio. The living room area can have around 8 to 22 species of entities that can spawn. These include lurkers, insanities, radios, skin stealers, glow folk, eyes, nostalgia children, and around 14 species unknown species of entities. Wi-Fi can be present in the living room areas, but the chances of the network in the area of the level appearing are very small. The living rooms can be entered from the hallways and exited from either the basements or back into the halls. The password for the Wi-Fi network can vary depending on how long the wanderer inhabited the level for. The password put into the sign-in application for the Wi-Fi network in the living room has an extremely small chance of bringing you to level 611.5, a level so deadly that barely anyone survived. Or should I say, no one survived. On the contrary, certain passwords input into the terminal will give the water a random real-life disease. Putting in passwords such as dude mad, dude underscore mad, will give whoever inputted it Ebola. Or passwords such as the living, the underscore living underscore death, will give the water a stage for lung cancer. Exiting the living room area has been known to reverse the effects. Bedrooms. The bedrooms of level 611.4 are the strangest part of the level. They resemble those constructed in the 1990s. Each part of the bedroom will have the following. A white desk, a television, always blaring out white static, a bed, of course, two lamps, a window curtain, a small table, a painting, a door made from birch wood, and three chairs surrounding the table. The doors leading out of the bedroom will simply loop you back to where you started, with at least one oddity after each re-entrance. These oddities can include something disappearing, something moving places, items swapping places, one of the lamps turning on, etc. These oddities would affect people while they stay inside the bedrooms. If two objects swap places, the wanderer will somehow gain a split personality disorder. If an object disappears, the wanderer will become oblivious of their surroundings until they leave the room. If one of the lamps turns on, the wanderer will experience minor paranoia, as well as hallucinate. If the TV turns off, the respiratory system will shut down. If the bed disappears, then you are most likely dead. The only way to enter and exit the bedrooms is by chance, and God save you if you end up here. Kitchens. The kitchens are usually made from most wooden materials. 
the kitchens have the most amount of moisture in any of the in any of the other areas combined with the sheer heat of the ovens and microwaves found within the kitchens. Each door leads to a nearly identical kitchen, with the only major difference being the models of the microwaves and or ovens. A ticking sound can be heard while in this part of the level, however, its sources are unknown. Following the ticking noise will lead you outside to the outside most of the time. Fluorescent lights can be seen installed in the ceiling, however, the number of working lights vary from room to room, which also affects the temperature of the room. If more than 7 lights are on at the same time, expect to die within the first few minutes. Entities cannot spawn here as a result of the kitchen's climate, besides one. The silent embargo will wander around this area of the level looking for prey that are vulnerable to its clutches. The entity will take the most silent route possible to anyone's location and pounce other victims when they least expect it. Bathrooms The bathrooms are strange and unusual. The bathroom star doors will lead to more of the area. A dripping sound can be heard, usually appearing directly above wanderers. The toilets have a small chance to spew out water from the pipes bursting. However, it is unknown why this happens. The water emitted from any source appears to be below freezing. Entities can spawn such as hounds, clumps, counter entities, mountain pianos, and doors. You can also hear the sounds of toilets flushing. When this happens, wanderers described it as worrisome. Something may lurk behind the stall doors. If you hear anything beyond them, do not open those doors, period. The entities that are lurking behind the stall doors have a tendency to move around the different stall doors to confuse people while in the bathrooms. Hallways The hallways are the most straightforward part of the level. They seem to constantly branch into more hallways that dip down further into more hallways. Each type of hall can have a glow of blue, green, yellow, red, white, or black, all of which means something different. Halls with a blue glow are generally safe, as nothing special happens while traveling through. They will have some resting areas if needed. Hallways emitting a green glow will have the wanderer's mood change completely from whatever they felt before to completely happy and carefree. Entities that spawn in the green zone will be aggressive towards anything they happen to see. Halls emitting a yellow glow will make anyone who enters full of energy, which keeps increasing as you make your stay. Energy bars found within these areas will typically deplete your energy upon being consumed. Halls emitting a red glow upon entry will spawn a ton of entities to chase you down. Doors can be found on either side of these halls, which will lead to a level exclamation mark if entered. Interestingly enough, this entrance can be used to travel to exclamation mark more than once, albeit with different properties. If you manage to get out of the red zone, the entities that were chasing you before will be and you're unable to exit the red zone until you enter it again. The white and black zones are normally mental hazards and should be avoided at all costs. If unlucky, the glow of the hall will change. The Outdoors The outdoors area resembles a row with a forest on either side. The trees will, on either side have a major chance to fall down directly on top wanderers. It is advised to stay in the center of the road and run if this were to happen. Entities will be able to spawn the sides, however, they will not attack. The entities will wander the sidelines of the roads and watch the wanderers from a safe distance to the falling trees. The entities that can spawn are Smilers, Facelings, Six Arms, and the Police Force. The Basement We don't know anything about the basement. It is empty and contains only one closet. That's all we have for now about the basement.
Colonies and Outposts Due to the nature of the level, colonies and outposts cannot be established. Entrances and Exits Entrances The only way to enter this level is from chance on level 611.3. Exits Entering the doorways and the red halls will lead you to level exclamation mark. No clipping into the street in the outdoor areas in the outdoors area will bring you to level 612. Inputting certain passwords to gain internet access is a very small chance of leading you to level 611.5. Cyrix out.